Right, so here we are. Ready to do another food review, Simply with me. Thanks for joining me, thanks for tuning in, thanks for your subscribes, your likes, all of that type of business. Don't forget, if you see me wandering around town, say hello, I always like to meet my subscribers. Today we're going up to the Crossbutts, stables at the Crossbutts in Whitby and we're going to review some food up there. I'm going to cycle up there on my electric bike. We're going to have a look around the gardens, we're going to have a look around the restaurant, we'll have a look at the menus and get some food ordered and we'll do a food review. So I'll see you up there in a minute. Seagulls, can you hear them? <laughs> hey up, here we are. Back on the e-bike, hurtling up the road. We've just passed Sneaton Castle. Lovely place, that's where my nephew and his now wife got married and had their reception. It was absolutely fantastic. We've got a nice restaurant in there, you can get bar snacks, they've got a nice bar. And I'll probably do a review of it at some stage, but uh, in betweens we've got lots to do. So we're on the e-bike. We're hurtling up the road. Uh, so, as I say, we're past Neaton Castle. I'm on the way up to the garden centre. Do you know, well, you can see it there, just on your left-hand side. So we're coming up to the garden centre. Getting a right wiggle on there, eh? All pedalling, have you noticed? No accelerators. <laughs> Sorry if I'm muttering to myself, by the way. It's one of my bad habits, apparently. Although I've got much worse habits than that. <laughs> Yeah, according to Mrs M. <laughs> Very bad habits. <laughs> anyway, we'll not mention them, will we? <laughs> right, we're coming up the garden centre. You'll see it on the, uh, the left-hand. Here it is. Here it is. And then on the opposite side of that is the park and ride. So the stables at Crossbutts is right across from the park and ride in Whitney. Look how fast and close those cars get. It's incredible, isn't it? Most people are really, but you get one or two are just, honestly, shocking. Anyway, I haven't fallen off or got knocked off yet, so there's time yet. Right, we're going round the roundabout. I'm going to take you in the main car park entrance, so uh, you can see how much car parking. Uh, just for your information, they've got free Wi-Fi here, dead easy to log in. It's wheelchair friendly, it's family friendly, it's children friendly it's dog friendly it's friendly all round the staff are friendly you can't you can't fault it absolutely fantastic right let's get into the car park we'll show you all the car parking that's going on now i'm sorry i'm having to voice this over but uh, i'm having a few copyright issues at the moment and as i say youtube don't like copyright issues and neither do i so yeah they're extending uh, the place here i don't know what it's going to be down there but whatever they do they do quality here this place has it's had no expense spared it's fantastic it is so clean honestly the toilets the tables the floor the bar the menus the garden everything is absolutely pristine you cannot fault it you don't need to ask them to come and clean the table here it's clean before you get here lovely cutlery the lot but the menus you know they're all poured and bits of food on it not here oh no 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 right here we go we're arriving at the stables at cross butts it's a big enough sign for you Nick so we're going to get parked up and I'm going to go into the garden show you around the garden and then show you around the pub restaurant let's crack on right here's the garden look at that everything beautifully manicured there's a pool there no, it's uh, no, it's uh, no, it's not a pool. It's a uh, it's a fish pond. That's it. I don't want you coming up in your budgie smugglers or having a skinny dip. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the garden. Now there's the uh, beer garden down here. I, as I said, the tables, everything is clean, lovely. There's no food on the floor. There's no bits of debris of food. No crisp packets. No napkins. No nothing. The lawns are manicured absolutely lovely it's a pleasure to sit here i'll tell you there's a few ashtrays on the tables down there and the ashtrays i like them being used that you know they're so clean it's incredible so if you've got a bit of ocd going on this is a place to go look at that look over the field beautiful views couple of little ponies down at the end of the field there couldn't be better could it right here we go now this is why i had to uh take the background uh, music out because I had copyright issues and uh, no you don't want to be messing around with YouTube 
So uh, let's get in the restaurant. There's a sort of gazebo conservatory built right. This building is long and fairly, it's not, I won't call it thin. Uh, and it's, look at the bar. Look at the fittings in here. It's absolutely to die for. Goodness knows how much money they've spent. All the furniture, it's all top-notch stuff. Now, you come down here and there's some separate rooms, so if you've got a birthday party going on or a family event, you can come in and get one of these rooms, book your table before you come. So if there's six of you, ten of you, twelve of you, no problem. There's plenty of space. It's almost like having a private dining room. It's that good. Let's hope the food lives up to the rest of the place. <laughs> As we're all going to be a bit disappointed. Look at this, mates. Honestly. And did I tell you, the staff in here are absolutely lovely. They could not be more helpful. They're just, yes, great. Now, I did come here before and I was a little bit disappointed, but they're just open. But they've got, they've got it sorted now. It's, it's absolutely spot on. So we get out into this conservatory area and um, I'll show you where we are. I'm probably going to record the uh, review in here, but I don't know, I might sit in that beer garden, but here we go. Isn't that lovely? I was sat here earlier and a, a bird crashed into the window and knocked itself out. <laughs> it's all right though, poor little thing. Right, mates, we're here. It's a bit echoey in here, isn't it? My wife's Mrs M is here. Are you coming round to say hello? No. No. No, she's not coming round, no. Um, doesn't matter though, does it? You got me. <laughs> so we both ordered the same actually, but I've got it on a separate bill so you can see how much it was. I've ordered a roast beef sandwich. Um, I don't know whether it comes on a tea cake, a baguette, sliced bread. I have no idea. We will see. Comes with a portion of chips and I've got a sparkling water. Now I had a free pint um thing did i show you that i don't know where it is we still got it i think now i've left it uh, but no 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 run out no expiry date but i couldn't be bothered arguing the toss however that should not deter from this place because it is absolutely lovely and mrs m was saying how, how lovely it is in here weren't you Yes, I was, yeah. Yes, she was. I'm very impressed. She's very impressed. Oh, I love that table over there. She loves that table over there. Right, thank you, that's enough now. We don't need any more. <laughs> there you are. So let's just wait for this grub to arrive, eh? We'll have a sip of the old sparkling water to cleanse the palate. Now, the people have been so kind. I said I was doing review and the staff in here are absolutely lovely. And they said, yeah, sit in that middle room, we can turn the music down, and turn it off completely, there's no problem with that. The lighting's probably not the best in here, but we can do a bit of post-editing uh, post on it and probably lighten it up a little bit and see how we get on. Right, um, let's just wait for the fruit to, uh, to arrive. In the meantime, um, yeah, you've seen the menu, haven't you? Yeah, have I? Sh oh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> What's well, the main menu there? No, I don't need it, thanks. You see, my wife's interrupting now, have you noticed? <laughs> That's why she doesn't normally come with me, chums. <laughs> See you in a minute. Right, we're here. Look at that, mates. <laughs> hey, That's not bad, is it? Chips, lovely chips. A lovely pot of gravy. Osradish. Right, I'm going to film this on my camera so you can see it as well. Let's get all bases covered. Can you hear my wife digging into her baguette? Oh, she's clinking and everything. She can't help it, poor old lass. <laughs> right, let's have a look, come on. Look at that, mates. Lovely chips, look at the beef. Oh, take that out. Try again. Lovely beef. Let's have a look. Gorgeous. Gravy. Chips look to die for. I'm going to get stuck in with no further ado. Right, we'll try and take a video. It was rubbish, so I'm going to try again. Oh, that's better. 
So you can see the baguette, you can see the horseradish, pot of gravy, got the chips, you got everything. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's crack on. How's yours, dear? You said I hadn't to talk. Would you like some horseradish? No, thank you. It looks, oh, it's, oh man, that's proper stuff. You've got to have horseradish and salt on beef, in my opinion, but again, what do I know? Oh. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Can you chew that with your dentures in? Oh. Little bit of gravy on the chip holes. Honestly, look at that. And beef there. Ooh. How's everything so far? We're all right. Lovely, really good, thank you. Told you, lovely stuff up here. Really helpful. They, they couldn't have been more helpful, could they? No, they couldn't, and it, it, it is actually delicious. Lovely. So that lot there, £10.50. Absolutely spot on. You're not going to get better value than that. That horseradish is delicious. Go on then, let me try some. Oh. Does it unblock your sinuses? No. There's almost enough for two with this, isn't there? Mm. We won't want our roast beef, do we? No, we won't. <clears throat> well, the beef, beautifully cooked, can't complain. The baguette's lovely and crispy. I think it's more like sourdough, that actually. Oh, that, that horse radish is lovely. Sorry you keep hearing me wife and you can't see her, but hope you don't mind. Chippies, delightful, absolutely piping hot. Crispy on the outside, lovely and sweet and fluffy on the inside. The gravy, yeah. It tastes like proper homemade gravy. It's so good, I liked a bit more of that. I can have them with mine. I'm all right, thank you. I'll, uh, at the moment, I'll give you a shout. <coughs> Let's get some moss radish on other piece. See how quick I've eaten it? I'm quite a quick eater, actually. Right, I'm going to show you this <coughs> with the horseradish on. Come on. Look at the beef on that. You see the steam coming off it. Top draw. Top draw. Last bite and then I'm going to finish this off and then tell you what I think about it. What a mouthful. <laughs> His actress said to the bishop. <laughs> right.
It's about six minutes. I get another napkin. It's nice that you can get more napkins here. So you're not always looking around for the waitress and waiter, or, you know, what, uh, the helpers. I need a new napkin, but they're here on the table, lovely. Nice, look at this, nice salt and pepper grinders. They work. You grind them, ground salt comes out. Oh man, yeah, this is enough to do you for all day. I'm sure I can. Anyway, that's it for now, mates, and uh, we'll come back and tell you what we think to it. Right, I've walloped that off. Mrs M's still eating, she's still got half a baguette. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've still got this aftermath of a cold going on. Yeah, she's still got half a baguette and some chips and half a pot of gravy. So, that were my bill. Here we got it, 13 and a half quid. That's the best 13, or oh, 13 pounds, not 13 and a half quid, 13 pounds. 10 pound 50 for the uh, roast baguette. 2 pound 50 for a sparkling water. Absolutely fantastic. The chips were lovely cooked, <coughs> chunky chips, crispy on the outside, lovely and fluffy and sweet on the inside. Baguette, lovely and fresh. Once stale and chewy that you can't, you know, you're trying to, with the bread sometimes it's, no, as fresh as it could be. The beef, lovely, big slices, well-cooked beef, very tender, no fat in it, nothing like that. And the gravy was just homemade gravy. With a bit of homemade horseradish on it, I will give that, my friends, 10 out of 10. You'll love this place. There's nothing not to like about it. It's beautiful inside, everything has been done, no corners have been cut. The staff are absolutely fantastic. They've got everything you want here. It's family friendly. They've got a room like this where you can, uh, if you want a, a private sort of dining room, you've got it. The stables at Cross Butts. Thanks ever so much. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and uh, we'll see you soon at another Simply Whitby. Maybe Mrs. M will be with me. Maybe she won't. We shall see. See you later. Chin chin.